I've just done a clean install. This is uh, Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon with a lot of uh, preferences set already. Sardi Icons and uh, Aureola Conky at the right top here. Aureola Poku. And um, well, next up is. Um, so, first I tried this one, uh, Ultimate Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon. And I fine tuned it even more. So, I have only one thing to run quick install an hour ago this is what you see this is the quick install after a clean install of Linux Mint I run this next up to just test and try is the i3 on Linux Mint 18 cinnamon so let's do it again and see if everything works as it should we take this here copy to clipboard and then we start like the other one we have Control H our little folder here open in terminal I have also selected these icons here in preferences for Nemo you do sudo apt install git enter enter with a password and then git clone copy paste that's it and then you run the steps so installation let's have a look step one i3 from repo so i'm gonna keep it always internal so we can see what happens but you could, you could just double click it but i like it this way if errors occur you can check it All done, it says fine. In a matter of speaking, we can already stop. So i3 has been installed, but it's from the repositories. It has no personal settings. It has an older version, 11. But we're going to have an i3 with caps, and which just makes it a bit nicer. So you press zero and tap, enter. I always want to know the password. Let's follow what it does. Build essential already okay. Lip tool is going to be installed. Now these ones will be installed. I'm scanning for errors. Okay, no errors, fine, close the terminal, we're done, now we're going to run this one. Yeah, this is an, uh, a story that is at the moment important. This package is not yet into the repositories, so we are compiling it from GitHub, where it is now. So whenever this is in the repositories, life will be more simple. And we'll just put sudo apt install xcb, etc. Okay. Okay, so libraries have been installed, he says, and everything is just fine. So we've done this one. Now we're actually installing the latest version of the i3. Coming from Airblader. This will make sure that we have the latest version of i3 and have the caps as well, which I like since I like wallpapers as well. You can see between the windows and see the wallpaper or you can see through the terminal and see the wallpaper. 
So we're at this version here at the moment. Fine. Then we go up. Step one has been done. Step two is another menu. There is a D menu, but this is a G4 D menu. So we want to have all possibilities. We want to have more than one possibility to look for a programs or applications. So this is number two. Number three being a terminal. Maybe spare a little bit of seconds for YouTube movie. And that's finished. Installation configuration all done. Step two is done. Step three. We do need some extra software when we are in i3. So I have a selection of things we will be requiring. Numlock X to have the numeric pad on. Fe is changing wallpapers. Variety uses it. Alex Appearance is going to change icons and themes, cursors. Scrot is screenshot. Compton is making it dim. Unclutter is getting the mouse out of the way. Everything is on the... I changed the pulse audio. I'm, I'm going to take... Uh, to use this one for sound. And indeed, you could also install these one. I'll probably install them now. One moment. So I've added the codes to this line. Save it. I'll upload it later. And for now, we can just run it. Sudo apt install. Paste, enter. Yes, please. Did I write a yes behind it? Okay, that's in order. Voila, so that's step three. And now step four, I3. Aha, this is the most important part of your system. This is I3. All the configuration, this is the main thing. You could never break so you can make backups. With uh, so old config files are just backups, changes I've made, and then put them here. Compton is to make it uh, dim the screen that's not active. I3 blocks is an, an alternative to have uh, the status I3 status bar at the bottom change to I3 blocks. This is the I3 status normally, so probably the same. This is a start conky i3 st status bar, so an alternative. This is the conky. This is a messaging like lib notify, just sending you a message, just but you can change the colors here. The configuration for the i3 blocks. One and wanted to exit, there is a, well, a script to help you stop the program. i3 status configuration, so the configuration of the i3 states when you're locking the computer you get this little image and this is to start the conky and these are conkeys to help you these three are together you get a conky with a system overview cpu and memory and this is all the shortcuts that's all to help you figure that out i3 the first steps in i3 can really be daunting but once you get over it and you are a shortcut kind of guy with your hands always on the keyboard. You'll love it. So, okay, short intro. <laughs> Not short. Okay, copy. You're going to copy it somewhere. Control H. It has to be in the config, the hidden file, hidden folder config, and then paste. So that's normal that you don't have it. We didn't. Uh, we have not logged into i3, there is no folder i3. But once you log in, 
you will go and look for all the settings in this folder. Great. So you will be profiting with all my personal settings and configurations and choices already. That being said, we are at step 4. Step 5. This is not really necessary, so I am omitting it, or not, maybe better not to. I'll just show you. So, where is this thing? This thing is supposed to be here. Just in your root, there is to be a GTK2, etc. And the other one is here, here, and here comes the settings. So once you change icons and that kind of stuff with LX appearance, then you'll get here a file. And that's where your settings will be for uh, the theme. So if everything anything goes wrong, you remember you have a step five. There are files, my personal files are in there. This goes in the home folder, this goes down in .config gtk3 settings e check it out what the code is step six is install conky if you ever want to have this uh, the conkeys to work that's one thing but also the conky that is providing the status bar you'll need the conky basically all right yes close it six has been done 7 is not available, there is no 7 yet. Step 8, I must check what step 8 was. So, 7, seven is about the dual monitors, so if you have dual monitor, check it out. Ah, yeah. So, this was for the Terminator, let's put it here. So, this is my Terminator uh, configuration, but well, if you're not going to use the Terminator normally in Linux Mint, we're going to lose use the uh, GNOME terminal. But if you would, I do think I can show you guys Terminator. There she is. So there are two terminals I have installed. I'm not going to show you, but this is the configuration file for Terminator, which is going to be in config and then here Terminator. It's not yet there, meaning. I will show you guys. Well, Terminator, <clears throat> nothing happens. When will things happen? When you change the preferences. I can say, voila, just one button, and where is she? There you have the Terminator. So here's a config file, delete. You go to my folder, the data folder, i3. Control D, so she's here, and then step eight. This is the Terminator file. Go back here. Dot config Terminator. Control V, and this is the oh wait. This is a standard look of the Terminator, and then I can I can yeah. Terminator. This is my look. You see? So anything is possible with Terminator. A lot of things you can change. So that's that. That's the Terminator setup. Oops. That was step 8. Step 9. Not necessary to do. It's just tips. Stop Firefox on saying this is embarrassing. GIMP, a lot of stuff I like, a variety, and a link to all the settings possible in variety. And step 10 is actually for the more advanced, so we'll leave it at that, or not. Well, if it's an or not, you have to install the font. I've delivered the font to you, but there is also this one. So you can install the font like that as well. I'll double click it this time. Voila, will be installed as you can see. All done. 
don't need to come to all these. These are just backups. These are already in the i3 folder. And then Dunst, install Dunst, run internal. So it's another program to notify you of changes. Lip notify is, is, and, uh, is the one we use. And these are the configuration files, but not necessary. It's already in the script in i3. i3 blocks. We have to run this one. This is a little bit longer. To see the errors, I will do it like this. Password, yes, I remember it. Okay, done. So now we have installed everything that was to, in to install. We should as well do dot config i3 and then control D. This is going to be the most important folder of your system in i3. And as you can see, there are already configurations for i3 blocks, i3 status. Uh, etc etc Dunst is here so it's complete the complete package is here now you have to set it off set it in the config file because this is the only one that's going to be read these are just to show you guys there is only one difference it's a hashtag in front or not in front of it and then it runs either the blocks either the status and either the conky so these are just for, for show, for, for, for tutorial reasons. This is the only one i3 will read. That's it. I'm gonna boot in i3.